Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Sports Injuries Part 2 Injury Prevention Injury Prevention Methods Proper preparation before taking part in exercise can reduce the chance of injury. Improvements in sports science means there are many injury prevention methods which everyone can put into practice, such as an adequate warm-up or using a foam roller. Years ago these were only accessible by the elite. Injury prevention methods can include the following. Taping and bracing, screening, protective equipment, warming up and flexibility training such as active, static and ballistic flexibility. Screening. Screening can be used to help identify those at risk of complications from exercise, prepare performers for their sport, enhance performance and reduce injury. Many young elite performers have a cry heart screening, a cardiac risk in the young which assesses and monitors a performer's heart. This is encouraged by the national governing bodies due to the stress elite sport can place on an athlete's heart. Screening can also identify musculoskeletal condition of the athlete, which can highlight any past or present injuries, allowing correct training to be undertaken. However, screening can also have its disadvantages as it's not 100% accurate. It may miss a problem, a false negative. It can identify a problem that doesn't exist, false positive, and this can increase an athlete's anxiety and cause unneeded stress to a performer. Protective equipment. Wearing the correct equipment can help reduce injuries in sports. Below are some examples of protective equipment for different sports. Football, shin pads, rugby, scrum cap, gum shield, etc. Whatever the equipment worn, it needs to fit correctly and meet the national governing body regulations. Warming up. Performing a warm-up will reduce the possibility of injury by increasing the elasticity of the muscle tissue due to the increase in the body temperature. Heart rate and respiratory rate will also increase during warm-up. This increases the blood flow and delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles. Warming up will also prepare the muscle tendons and joints for strenuous activity. Three stages of a warm-up. Stage 1. Cardiovascular exercise to increase the cardiac output, blood flow and respiratory rate. Stage two, performing stretching, flexibility exercises. Stage three, sport specific practice. For example, shooting basketball. Flexibility training. Flexibility training should involve the joints and the muscles that will be most active during activity. There are four types of flexibility training. Active, passive, static, and ballistic. Active and passive stretching. Active stretching involves the performer working on the one joint, pushing it beyond its point of resistance. This increased lengthening of the muscle and the connective tissue around it. For example, as you can see here, this woman is stretching her quadriceps and hip flexors. Passive stretching is when the stretching occurs with the help of an external force, such as another part of your body, a partner or a piece of equipment. For example, here we see a hamstring set with a partner assisting with the stretch. Static and ballistic stretching. Static stretching is stretching while not moving. It involves holding a muscle in the furthest point you can for up to 30 seconds. For example, here we stretch the hamstrings. Ballistic stretching involves performing a stretch with a swing or a bouncing movement to push the body further. It's important this type of stretching is only performed by individuals who are extremely flexible. Here the athlete swings their leg forward and backwards to get a greater range of stretch. Key terms. Active stretching, when a stretched position is held by the contraction of an agonist muscle. Passive stretching, using external force to help the stretched position. Static stretching, when the muscle is held in a stationary position for 10 seconds or more. Ballistic stretching, uses swinging and bouncing movements. Taping and bracing. Taping a weak joint can help with support and stability to reduce the risk of injury. Ankle sprains are common injury in sport, and often taping is used during the recovery stage to give more support and prevent further injury. Examples of this can be seen on the right. Taping can also be used on your muscles. This tape for the muscles is more elastic and is directly applied to the skin. It is known as kinesiology tape and expands as the muscle contracts.